You are an above average human being. Congrats. Well, thanks, man. Above average? Fuck yeah, thanks man. I'll take that. Thanks me a sub 26 months ago. Now I can't use Twitch without XQCL. Welcome to Audit the Audit, where we sort out the who and what and the right and wrong of police interactions. This episode covers search warrants, officer privilege, and departmental corruption, and is brought to us corruption? by Fire and Police Videos' channel. Be sure to check out the description below and give them the credit that they deserve. Let's dive right in and audit the interaction. On the evening of March 22, 2020, Española, New Mexico resident Philip Chacon barricaded himself into his home after the Española Police Department attempted to make contact with him regarding a stabbing incident which occurred earlier that day. The Española PD surrounded the house and began issuing orders for Mr. Chacon to surrender peacefully. Shortly after the incident began, Rio Arriba Sheriff James Lujan arrived on the scene in plain clothes and attempted to order the Española City Police officers to leave the scene. Did you in charge? Yeah, yes. Back. Oh my god. Phil Chacon? That's who you have a warrant for? Right. Pull everybody out. Hey, I'll bring them in. I don't want to pull them out. Huh? I don't want to pull them back. Excuse me? I'm not asking. I'm telling you. I will bring him in. Okay? We don't need to make this bigger than what it is. Hey, uh, the sheriff just pulled in? And he's he's asking us to pull back, and he'll pull him in. But he's been drinking; I can smell it on him. We're gonna need somebody, huh? Yeah. And we need to pull somebody over here. Somebody above. Is he acting sheriff when he's not in clothes and not like on duty? I mean, because he's he's already pushing his weight around with me. So. Okay. We're not pulling back. Hi. I'm waiting for. I told Jeremy. Jeremy's calling command one now. Uh, but do you smell it or am I the only one who smells yeah. it? Yeah, please do something about okay. it. Please. Right. Mr. Chacon eventually surrendered to the officers and was taken into custody. During the standoff, Sheriff Lujan revealed to the Española officers that he had been communicating with Mr. Chacon while he was inside the home, and briefly attempted to convince the officers that Mr. Chacon was not actually in the house. Sheriff Lujan's strange behavior and unwelcome appearance garnered suspicion from the Española Police Department, and culminated in the department filing official charges against Sheriff Lujan, and securing search warrants for both the sheriff's personal cell phone and the phone issued to him by the sheriff's office. On the morning of May 14th, the Española PD attempted to serve those warrants at the Rio Arriba Sheriff's Office. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Andrew, Sheriff, how are you? Good, yeah. Good. This Jean's here, the sheriff. This is the way to... At this point, Sheriff Lujan has officially been served the search warrants and must comply with the orders of the judge immediately. The search warrant authorizes officers to search the sheriff for the phones, and as of this moment, the phones are in the sheriff's pocket, which means that he was served the warrant while in possession of the phones. However, Sheriff Lujan attempts to circumvent the authority of the warrants by handing his phones to his colleague, Under Sheriff Martin Trujillo. He knows how this shit works, and if he was him instead, and this was like a normal civilian, it'd go hard on him.
Like super hard. Uh. You have my personal phone and my work phone. Okay. And so it's gonna stay there until I get it cleared to my attorney first. Fair the sheriff informs the officers that he will not surrender the phones until he has spoken with his attorney. While all Americans are entitled to due process under the 5th and 14th Amendments, disputing the legitimacy of a search warrant as it is being served does not fall within the scope of those protections. If a defendant wishes to challenge the validity of a search warrant, they must do so in a court of law, not on the street. And the fact that the Espanola officers allowed the sheriff to call his attorney and wander around the office freely after warrants. serving the warrants is a testament to the privilege that officers often and afford one another oh. when performing their duties. Uh, in a country where departments are authorized to execute no-knock raids daily, seize millions of dollars of contraband, and intercept sensitive personal information all in the name of justice, it is highly irregular for officers to allow a suspect to comply with a warrant on their own terms. In the 1971 Supreme Court case of Coolidge versus Hampshire, the court held that a warrant must be issued by a neutral and detached judge capable of determining whether probable cause exists. Whether the warrant was signed by the circuit judge or a magistrate is irrelevant. To obtain a warrant, law enforcement officers must show that there is probable cause to believe a search is justified. Officers must support the showing with sworn statements and must describe in particularity the place they will search and the items they will seize. The search warrant that the Espanola officers are attempting to serve specifically target Sheriff Lujan's work phone and the personal phone that he was using to communicate with Mr. Chacon during the March 22nd standoff. Keep this in mind because it will play an important role later in this episode. Interesting. What is it exactly are you looking for? So it stipulates in there. Why? What the fuck were you talking about the ongoing investigation with the prison being investigated? You don't, they don't have to say, say shit to him at all from the get go. Any, any of it. If, if, if the thing is signed, really they can do whatever the fuck they want. So really bad, Ernest. Sure. So, uh, Under Sheriff Trujillo so walks it. away with the phones, and the Espanola officers inform the deputies that they need to be able to see the phones in case the sheriff attempts to delete anything. The sheriff and undersheriff eventually return to the front of the office, but continue to wander aimlessly in and out of the view of the officers. Shortly thereafter, Espanola Interim Police Chief Roger Jimenez arrives on the scene to speak with Sheriff Lujan. He's that trying is... to make contact with... Morning, under Sheriff. That is so fucked up. What is this fucking noise, man? So he has the warrants. They're signed. They're legal. It's a court order. I know. I know you guys are just doing your job, but I don't want you guys in the middle of this. All we needed the phones. That's it. Well, once he gets his advice from his attorney, we'll do that. I got him. I don't know. You have your phone? His phones? Yes. Okay. Can I see him at least so I can give you that professional courtesy? Yeah, on his head. On the top of his head and not on his chin. Nothing just happened. 
Well, I'm not the one making the show. I had only sent these guys in here. You yeah. Know, I, I just again, we want the phone. Well, that's why you're, right. you're probably going to get the phone, but wait, still. Okay. Well, it, do it. As you know, I'm they sure all get an F here. All of them get F here. You know, I don't want to. I, I really don't. I don't want to have to. Great. Jane has been found alive. That's what happened. Jane has been found alive. Yeah, we saw that. I don't want to do that. And you're saying. As a recent Eurist doctor graduate who just took the bar, some of this is disputed law regarding right to an attorney before searching a phone. They can take his wallet, check the narcotics, or weapons, but searching through a phone is disputed. No, no, no. They're not going to search the phone. They're going to take the phone. Wait, wait. What are you talking about? If they ha if they have a warrant, right, and the, the, a, a judge signed off on them taking the phone, their job is to execute that warrant and a story. They go there to execute it. That's it. Just done. If it's signed, it's signed. It, it, you can't contest that in the middle of a fucking of, of an office. I gave him copies. Where are they? What's that? The warrant? You asked for it? Or? No, he gave them to me. Okay. What? That's how it works. I know. I know how that works. Uh, are you gonna comply? Yes or no? I, that's okay. all I want. I want the phones. So you don't get it. Don't you don't get it. Because whatever is in there, if 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 the court says that uh, the warrant was 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 uh, should have went through or whatever, right? Then it's fruit of the poisonous tree, and they can't use information that they got with the fucking warrant in the first place. So it doesn't matter. Warrant says to search me for personal. Why phones? would you care? He has the phones. He already told me he has the phones. Okay, that's so, not what the warrant says, does it? Okay, so you want us to lock down the sheriff's office? Go ahead and call them back. You're gonna stay out here. So stay out here. For what? Because. Under, under sheriff? You can go through the court system. Sorry, we are. We're going to lock down this building until he gives me those books. Really? Yes. That's what the DA's office is. Really? Yeah. Where's that on paper? You can call her. Andrea Reed. Do you want her number? He's going out. Okay. Did it. I think it's the same. It's the same as if, as if they see a civilian. And the, the guy has a warrant for his arrest, right? The guy can't say, no, 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 that arrest, no. Dude, if, it, if on file, it says that there's a warrant for his arrest, they execute the warrant, that's it. No questions, no arguing, no phone calls, no bullshit. They execute You're the warrant. You're not going to stop me from leaving if I want to leave. Am I under arrest? If we have to. Am I under arrest? Not, not, not now. Get away from Not now. Go back inside. We're going to lock down this office anymore. Please, go back in. Seriously, don't touch. Back up. You back can up. go in the office, but don't touch. Don't reach. Back up. Go inside. Because you're not certified, so back up. This slight physical altercation demonstrates that the deputies prioritize their loyalty to the sheriff above their sworn duty to uphold the law. The Española officers followed the proper protocol and served a legitimate search warrant to the sheriff. The Rio Arriba deputies are bound by the same oath to uphold the law as it is dictated by their respective justice system as every other member of law enforcement. Their failure to uphold the search warrant raises serious questions about their competence as a department and reveals a glaring gap between their ability to perform their duties according to the law and the ethical standards associated with law enforcement as a whole. So they're tampering with evidence of it now. What you're saying? Refusing what? You're refusing a lawful order? So you're refusing the back. It doesn't search. matter. On your case? Yeah, you yeah. have a search warrant. Search warrant, the, the case you is continue, going to district court, right? You continue to continue it's to continue It's a district court judge has this case, right? Showing a pattern of behavior, sure. Really? Yes. It's a pattern of harassment. I read it twice. I read it twice. They can confiscate the phone, but they twice. can not okay. search through you it unless your, you let them. You have your Otherwise, he has a right I'm, to an attorney. So will you. I'm surprised you know what fruit of the pious list tree is, though. That has to do with no no warrant home Are you then, why not, something else? then why not give me the phones? Wait, really? I told you I'm seeking legal counsel first. I have you that have right. Do I not have a right to seek you legal, have legal counsel? Order. Wait, you have I legal do. Order. And it does Wait, don't know. Wait, don't know is wrong actually. Wait, don't know, you're actually wrong. If 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 somebody is is out there and they don't have a cause for a search on, on a person, they find a gun on him, right? He goes to court, he wins that case. They didn't see it, they didn't have probable cause, right? Therefore, it's a f they find the weapon on the fruit of the prison tree, and he they, they, he wins. So this doesn't only apply to houses and shit. It doesn't say how long I have to give it to you, does it? It 
It says now. Does yes, it? Yes. Show it's me. It's a court order. You have the copies. It says now? Yeah. Well, when do you, okay, so you get a search warrant, you just do it whenever you want? This is always true. This is the, you're, you're like, guys, so I'm not even American. This is the one of your amendments bullshit, one of the fuck fucking writing thing on the paper scroll thing on the fucking thing, man. I don't, I, you phones. should know this shit. Well, no, but you, we, I saw you give them to your undershare mm -hmm. who has them in his pocket. Mm -hmm. So just the knowledge of that. This is all harassment and retaliation because I told the city council that you shouldn't be the chief. That's what it is. Think whatever you want. I don't think. Sure. I know. Okay. That's exactly what it is. You do, you Go ahead and give it to him. These phones are not to be gone through until you have a warrant for the content. You only have a warrant for the phones, You're not the content. Right. You're absolutely right. And good absolutely. luck, and you better not come through a magistrate. You better go through That's a judge. That's judge. Thank you, Under Sheriff. Go. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. So, even, even then, even then, they sh they sh they knew this since the get go. They still decided to tamper with the evidence, which is says you toenail take handy, which is even, even, even more trouble. They literally tampered. That's so fucked. Have a good day, sir. Who Ima else imagine if all criminals had head start like that. The Espanol officers left the scene without further incident. The officers secured a search warrant for the contents of the phone a few days later and discovered that Sheriff Lujan did not surrender the correct phone to the officers. The search Man, warrant specifically named the phone that the sheriff so had used to communicate with Mr. Chacon, but neither of the no phones spikes. that the sheriff gave to these cops needs a step up. Reporting this to Coyle. <sighs> Named the phone that the sheriff had used to communicate with Mr. Chacon, but neither of the phones that the sheriff gave to the officers were the one he had used on March 22nd. Upon realizing that the sheriff failed to comply with the stipulations of the search warrants, an arrest warrant was issued, and on May 21st, the Española Police Department arrested Sheriff Lujan at his office. During the arrest, the sheriff managed to get a resisting charge stacked on top of the other charges he was already facing. Overall, Sheriff Lujan and the Rio uh, Arriba uh, Sheriff's F Office get an F. For failing to comply with the language of the search warrant, well, escalating a lawful interaction into a passive-aggressive standoff, and actively bro, working. Bro, there should be, there should be F minus. F minus. As, uh, dude, uh, as uh, as a police officer, dude, they know they do motherfucker. They know better. Okay, they should never, ever, ever, ever go down to the level of everybody else, motherfucker, and go down under to where they breach their own fucking code. That's. To shield that's the like sheriff a, from the authority dude, what of the, is this shit, man? the blind loyalty of the deputies sheds light on the gang-like operations of certain police departments across the country. They're <laughs> human? Nah, they're not. Okay, it's not how that shit works, man. When you're a cop, you serve the people, man. You, you, yes, yeah, you, 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 you take a note, motherfucker, to, to serve the people and do the job. You're, you saying, oh yeah, but he's human. You don't get to use that, that discourse. That's just, that's just a stupid fucking thing. You don't, though. And officers oh, well, who operate yeah, under the human. best interest of Fuck their off. department at the expense of properly enforcing the law are a danger to their communities. If the sheriff's actions are any indication of his guilt, then there is no doubt that he will be prosecuted for his crimes. It will be interesting to see what, if any, information is gathered from the cell phone that the sheriff went through so much trouble to hide, and there is a good possibility that the sheriff could face more charges in the future. Throughout yeah, the interaction- What I about that, dude, is that, is that, is that, let's say some guys down bad, he, He's having a tough life. Everything's against him. It's it's so sad, and you're all for him. And he's, he has a fuck, he has an arrest warrant, right? But issued by a judge. He has to execute it. Are you gonna say, dude? All is against him. The world. He had a tough childhood. Everything's against him. But dude, what would somebody that's human do? What would somebody that's human? No, he's he's good. Let's, 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 let's no, you can't do that. You have a you have a you have a you have a job. You have a fucking job, motherfucker. You have a fucking job to do. You do the fucking job, motherfucker. You don't want to do that? You want to be a fucking normal human? Don't be a fucking cop. End of story, bitch ass. The sheriff that? mentions that the search warrants were issued in retaliation Man. for comments that he had made about the interim police chief, but I was unable to substantiate those claims, and the sheriff's office could not be reached for comments. The Española Police Department gets a C- yep. for yep. offering the sheriff privileges that they do not grant to average citizens by allowing the sheriff and deputies to wander aimlessly through the building while executing a search warrant and not arresting the sheriff after he made several attempts to evade... Com you want to feel this guy because he was kind of trying a little bit, but 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 he, he literally helped them in, in, in his own investigation and he let him tamper on purpose. He let him tamper. Weird. Don't know, not Weird. By extending a professional Please courtesy to Sheriff Blue the, the Espanola officers afforded him ample time to deceive the officers in and attempt to make a getaway in the middle of the interaction. Any civilian sight. who attempted to evade a search warrant by leaving the scene or passing off evidence to a colleague would have been arrested on the spot. 
And this encounter draws many parallels to an interaction I have covered in the past involving the arrest of attorney Victor Revel for defying the authority of a search warrant in central Alabama. I will- It's like arresting your boss? Dude, fuck the boss. I'll arrest my boss any day of the week, man. What are you talking Post about? Post a link to that episode in the info card above. Regardless of any professional titles, all Americans are equally subject to the laws of this country. But the Española Police Department provided Sheriff Lujan with a degree of leniency that is not consistent with the standard protocols administered during most interactions with average citizens. Let us know if there is an interaction or legal topic you would like us to discuss in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more police interaction content. Interesting. Wait, that was actually interesting. I enjoyed that. That, 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 was, that was like super... Um unique compared to the other ones. I mean, they're always good, but that was really unique.